Okay, this is a normal block, and this is your number three main journal. Your thrust washer sits right in here just like this, and there's actually two of these. One goes on each side, and the crankshaft sits in these journals right here, and this is what prevents the crankshaft from running back and forth uh, in, the, in the journals. Now what tends to happen on these, especially when people ride the clutch too much, uh, like sitting at a stoplight, just riding your clutch, is it eventually it wears the thrust washer down? Here's a here's a thrust washer that's almost completely worn out. You can see how thin that is. You can see the difference there compared to a uh, full thickness thrust washer. Anyway, what happens is these thrust washers wear out, and eventually it falls out and uh, gets destroyed, like this one right here did. And then once that one falls out, then the uh, front one falls out as well. Pretty soon you've got no thrust washers in the motor at all. And then what happens is the crankshaft just begins running against the journal here and just removes that lip. You can see there's supposed to be a lip here that this thrust washer sits in. And you can see this one right here is almost completely gone. There's nothing there. So you would not be able to use this block anymore. Um, I, I don't know about the possibility of having the block repaired. I've never looked into that. But uh, for my purposes, this block is destroyed. And uh, incidentally, unfortunately, it does the same thing to the crankshaft. This is where that thrust washer was sitting, or used to sit. You can see how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to have a nice, smooth surface for the thrust washer to run against. You know, the thrust washer sits right there, and this is what locates the crankshaft in the block. You see that this is actually built up a little bit. There's a little bit of a ridge right here, and this one right here, you can see this is the original lip right here, but this thing has a huge cavern in it. It's uh, it's been running without a thrust washer for quite a while. So we have a junk crank and a junk block. This is just something that you need to be aware of if you're purchasing a used motor um, or you're planning on rebuilding a motor. This is pretty common. I think I see this in about one out of four, maybe one out of three uh, engines that I tear down. I wish I had a motor that I could start up and run and you could hear it. Uh, it has a distinct sound when this condition is occurring and Typically what you hear is like a uh, low pitch rattle on deceleration or just, just about peak. Like if you're revving the motor up, it's like it revs up fine. And then right as you kind of let off the gas, you'll hear like a just like that, like a you know, kind of down inside of the motor. Um, can't wait to hear all the jokes about my sound effects. I apologize for that. You know that I don't have a, a real motor I can start up and run, but I don't have one with this condition right at the moment. If uh, your motor is leaking oil really badly from the front and rear main seal, that is very common. Uh, you start seeing that when the crankshaft is you know no longer being located here, and the crankshaft starts running back and forth. It starts puking more oil out the front and rear main seal, and um, you know, you might think, well, my motor's leaking oil real bad, I need to put a front seal in it. Uh, you can put a front seal in it, but it's not going to make any difference if this is the problem. If you've got oil leaking pretty badly, and you're hearing a slight rattle coming from inside of the motor, you know, when you're decelerating or just as you, as you stop accelerating, let's say, uh, you need to plan on a new bottom end before you rebuild that thing. 